Yo, Victor Wolf here. I've finally done it. I've comprised a top 10 of Stephen King's all-time greatest novels. But I'm not going to do 10. I'm going to do 13 because we all know 13 is a much better number than 10. But I have to warn you, someone or something sabotaged my electric. So we'll have to do a little bit of a scavenger hunt. I'm sure you don't mind. So, without further ado, let's find that number 13. 13, where are you at? 13, 13, 13. 13 is the dead zone. The story about Johnny Smith who gets into a automobile accident and lies in a coma for four and a half years. And when he wakes up, he has the strange ability to tell people's futures. What is your future? Is death in your future? Probably so. Number 12, number 12. We got to find number 12. Where's number 12? Number 12. Number 12 is... Duma Key! Oh, look at that skeleton and his little shadow on the background wall. Duma Key is a story of Edgar Fremantle, who goes to Florida and paints. And after that, a bunch of crazy stuff happens. Read the novel to find out why it's number 12 on my list. Now we must find number 11. Where is number 11? 11, no, no, no. It's back to, uh, back to number 11. Number 11. Number 11. Where can number 11 be? Number 11. Oh, number 11 is The Shining. Everyone knows the story of Jack Torrance when he takes his family to Colorado in the dead of winter to the Overlook Hotel and slowly and slowly he becomes mad chasing his family with an axe. Oh, what's in this cup? This cup. Oh, that looks like blood. I wonder if I can get a strip of that. Give me some of that. Uh. Mmm, blood. I love blood in the morning. Number 10. What could be number 10? We need to find number 10. Number 10. Number 10 is... Christine! Number 10. Oh, look, there is Christine there. A 1958 Plymouth Fury. How cool is that? Number 10, Christine. The story about Arnie Cunningham who buys this rad machine and fixes her up only to become possessed by its possessing demon. Christine, great novel. Now we're in the search of number nine. Number nine, where can number nine be? Number nine, number nine. Oh, I think I found number nine. Number nine. Number nine is... Desperation, accompanied by Frank. Desperation is a town in BFE, Nevada, where a bunch of people congregate and become possessed by an entity known as Tack, who lives in the mines. Number eight. Where can number eight be? Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Oh, 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 number eight's not up there. Number, number eight. Number eight. Number eight is eleven twenty-two sixty-three, and there is the angel of death responsible for claiming JFK's life on that fateful day. But Jake Epping, hero of our story, goes back in time to maybe prevent such a tragedy from happening, only from the mind of Stephen King. Can we su find such a riveting story? Great novel. Great novel. Number seven. Where's number seven? Number seven. Oh, that's not number seven. Number seven. Number seven is... Oh, there's number seven. That is Pet Cemetery. The story of Lewis Creed, 
He takes his family to Ludlow, Maine, where the family cat dies, and he buries it, and it comes alive. What else can he bury that could come back from the dead? Great, great story. Now we're in search of number six. Where is Stephen King's number six? Number six. Number six. Oh, this is on number six. Number six. We found number six is Under the Dome. A great 1,000 page epic story. Most people have seen this miniseries, but the novel, the novel is way, way better. Number five, number five, we got, find number five, or number five. Oh, it's up at the store. Number five, where's number five? Oh, number five, number five. Number five is The Green Mile, the story of John Coffey. Ooh, look at that dagger. The story of John Coffey and Paul Edgecombe. Coffee walks the mile for a crime he did not commit, but can Paul get him out of it? Only read the novel to find out. Okay, number, what number are we on? Number four, number four. Where is number four? In this door. Oh, shoot. Don't. Number four. Construction site, construction site. Oh, there's feet. Who is that? Who is that? Ah! It's Michael Myers. What's he doing? What's he doing? Mike, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mike? Are you guarding number four? You want to read number four? Okay, you can, you can read number four. It's fine. It's fine. But where, where is it? We just need to know where it's at number four. Oh, there's, an, there's number four. Misery! The story of Annie Wilkes and her hostage, Paul Sheldon, the writer. If you don't know what this act signifies, then perhaps you should read the book. You will not be disappointed. Okay, okay, Mike, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We gotta run. We gotta find number three. Gotta find number three. Oh, shoot. Number three. Where's number three? The third greatest all-time Stephen King novel. Number three. What is it? What could it be? What could it be? Uh, oh, oh. Oh, it's not this way. Oh, no, no. Not this way. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Serial killers on the wall. What kind of... What kind of place am I in? Uh, oh, 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 Victor Wolf's Black Mountain, another great novel. But number three on Stephen King's list, number three is Needful Things, the story of Leland Gaunt. He brings a store to Castle Rock and Needful Things just might have what you need, but it just might cause your death too. Great novel, Needful Things. Okay, we're down. Whoa, whoa, it's a scream. All right. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Let's get closer. This might be number two. Might be number two. Number two. Oh, number two is The Stand. Stephen King's magnum opus, as some say. The Scand is a great 1100 page epic quest, rivaling that of only the Dark Tower. The Stand. Okay, number one, where's number one? Number one, we gotta find number one. Number one, where's, ooh, it's so dark in here, number one. Number one is, is number one, number one. There's number one, it is it. Everybody knows it was it. There's no fool in you. Oh, he's guarded by this demon. He wants to read it. I have Michael wants to read Misery and this demon wants to read it. Oh, there's Pennywise, oh my God. If you look closely, you can see Stephen King's autograph. Too bad it's not inscribed in this original hardback of it. But there you have it, folks. Victor Wolf. Top 13 Stephen King novels. If you haven't subscribed by now, then go ahead and do it. What are you waiting for? Victor Wolf! Ow!